For Mashable, I'm Eric Shute. The theater shooting on Friday killed 12 and wounded dozens more, but investigators still don't know exactly how long the attack lasted or how many shots were fired by suspected government James Holmes. Weapons used in the shooting included an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, a Remington 870 pump-action shotgun, and a 40 caliber Glock handgun. A second 40 caliber Glock was recovered from Holmes' vehicle. News reports, including several in this story, have referenced an assault rifle, which by definition is capable of fully automatic fire. The stock AR-15 fires one round per pull of the trigger and is technically not an assault rifle. But authorities can't say for certain if the gun used in the shooting had been somehow modified for a faster fire rate. But the rifle was reportedly equipped with a 100-round drum magazine. Experts say the weapon, if in stock configuration, was therefore capable of sustained rate of fire of 50 to 60 rounds per minute. According to a press conference given by Aurora Police Chief Dan Oates, Holmes had purchased all of the guns legally within the last two months from local gun shops. And through the internet, he purchased over 6,000 rounds of ammunition, more than 3,000 rounds of 223 ammunition for the assault rifle, 3,000 rounds of 40 caliber ammunition for the two Glocks in his possession, and 300 rounds for the 12 gauge shotgun. Ammunition is more readily available than firearms and generally does not require a license or any sort of paperwork. Oates said all the ammo Holmes bought reportedly 6,000 rounds was easily acquired online. The question is whether the shooting will galvanize new gun control measures or policy for online purchases. Local expert Del Elliott, director of the CU Center for the Study and Prevention of Violence, says policy changes aren't likely. It appears this was so carefully planned at this point that laws wouldn't have been a deterrent. I don't care what kind of gun laws you have, it wouldn't have stopped it. Holmes is currently in custody as law enforcement officials work on dealing with his booby-trapped Aurora apartment. Arraignment is scheduled for Monday. For Mashable, I'm Eric Shoot.